EV Explorers proudly launched an EV vehicle made in Kenya. It's a fully off-road beast built specifically to take on one of the world's most rugged motorsport challenges, the Rhino Charge, which kicks off on May 31st. That's why the design looks the way it does, robust, functional, and engineered to navigate extreme terrain. It's not about style here. It's about power, endurance, and resilience in the wildest of Kenyan landscapes. And even though the full specs, like its range, horsepower, battery capacity, and drivetrain setup haven't been revealed yet, What's already clear is that this marks a turning point in how we view electric vehicles in Africa. Once those numbers are available, you can be sure we'll update you immediately. This is a crucial moment not just for Kenya, but for the entire African continent. If this electric off-road vehicle performs as expected, it could serve as powerful proof that local manufacturing of electric vehicles is not just possible, but viable and competitive. It's the kind of breakthrough that could inspire a new wave of innovation across Africa, encouraging more players to enter the EV space and develop vehicles tailored to the continent's unique needs, from urban commuters to rural transport solutions and rugged utility models. Right now, the majority of EV activity in Africa is limited to assembling pre-made kits, mostly from Chinese manufacturers. But being able to design, engineer, and manufacture an electric vehicle entirely on the continent changes the game. It means local industries can control the process, adapt designs to real-world African conditions, and create jobs and skills that feed directly into the local economy. Richard Kiplagat, the team leader at EV Explorers, made it clear that their goal is about linking climate action to real-world conservation efforts. By pushing an EV into this off-road arena, they're proving that sustainability and performance don't have to be on opposite ends. Proving EV capability in Kenya's toughest terrains could open the floodgates for innovation in electric transport, not just in urban centers, but deep into remote and rural landscapes. The project is backed by a strong coalition of organizations, including Africa Practice, Base Titanium, Velar, Kengen, KCB, Gulf Energy, Maxis, Safaricom, Lake Turkana, Wind Power Project, Africa Bridge Fund, and Axum. That kind of support shows just how much momentum is building behind clean mobility solutions.